Howdy y'all, Derek here. I am seven days post-op today. Hooray. Um, I went and had my drains removed today. Drove into Seattle, got my drains off. I uh, was finally able <clears throat> to take this off for the first time in seven days. Um, see what my chest looked like. Um, I'll put some pictures. Um, to, took some pictures when we got home. I'll put them at the end of the video. Um, I can't take this off. I'm, myself, I'm not strong enough right now. I don't, I can't get the, the torque to take it off. Um, it's, it's some heavy strength Velcro, man, let me tell you. Um, oh, wow, let's clean those in a minute. Um, but yeah, uh, went to Schmidt's office, didn't see Schmidt today, I saw the nurse today when I'll see Dr. Schmidt again on Thursday when they remove the bolsters from my nip nips. And I get to see if my nipples fell off or not. So we'll see. Fingers crossed, toes crossed that they stay on. That's the only thing I'm worried about now. I saw my chest, chest looks good. Minimal to minimal swelling. Staring at myself because I look so good. Why not? Um, uh, there was some padding stuff um, that apparently someone put on incorrectly. The sticky part was supposed to be towards the bind, towards the wraps. And soft side touching my skin. Ow. Um. Well, they... They smacked that sticky side right on my skin. And I've been itchy. And she... The nurse took all the bandages off and was like, oh my. Tugged on a little bit and was like, that's not supposed to be that way. Rip. Oh, man. That hurt, that hurt more than the drains coming out. Man. But, it was, it was just a small mistake. I mean, whatever. Uh, my chest looks really good. Um, the contouring and contour and everything is really good. The nipple placement still looks really weird to me. But I've only seen it with the bolsters on. Excuse me. I've only seen them with the bolsters on. And... Only from, like, laying down looking like this. You know. Um, because when I got home, you'll see in the pictures, um, there's... She put stuff over the bolsters so that they stay in place and don't get knocked around by anything. Um, she told me when I get, got home to put on, to take, to take this off, put on one of these, and then put this back on over it. Um, but that I could breathe for a little bit without it on. It's okay. It wouldn't hurt anything. Um, but to keep it on at least until I saw Dr. Schmidt again on Thursday. Um, but she said, because I was allergic to some of the adhesive tape stuff that they put on me, um, not quite allergic, it was a mild reaction. It wasn't hives or anything, but there's a little bit of raised redness where the tape was. Um, so she didn't put any more tape back on. Um, she left that off and said to put this on instead of the tape. Um, something like that anyway. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what's going on with that. I'm extremely happy. I don't think I could be happier. Um, like I said, I'll put some, I'll post some pictures. Oh, I also had Aaron help me, um, wash my hair this morning before going into the doctor's office because it was, it was, it was nasty. It had been washed in seven days. It needed to be washed. Um, and so I was like, how are we, we going to keep this dry, right? 
Mm -hmm. I don't know. How are you going to keep this dry? I was like, let's do a trash bag. So we got a trash bag and tore a hole in it, and there's a picture of it. And it, it worked for the most part. I mean, the, the back got wet, um, but the front that needed to stay dry stayed dry. So, there's that. Um... And I'll put, I'll put that picture, um, come on computer, there we go. I'll put that picture, um, in with the other pictures. I'll put that picture first and be like, this is the shower picture with me in a blue trash bag. Um, so yeah, and I'll post another update probably in two days. After I see my nipples for the first time. Yay, have a good one, y'all.